Um, good evening, everyone, and welcome to this online education talk from the Japan Society about the Sodoban, also known as the Japanese Abacus. I'm Alice Turner, the Education Projects Coordinator. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Um, before we move on to the talk, which is Visualizing Numbers, Sodoban as a Tool for the Maths Classroom, I have a couple of housekeeping notes. Um, please be aware that we are recording the talk this evening but attendees' names and faces will not be visible in any footage that we release publicly. Um, we ask you to stay on mute throughout this session. Sorry, Alice, I, I just accidentally turned off your microphone. That's no problem. Um, if you have any questions at any time, um, please do type them into the chat. Um, Soon I'll be welcoming our speaker, Tomoko Holtz, to introduce us to the Soroban and show how the teaching Soroban can be used in the classroom setting. Following this, I'll briefly explain the Japan Society's new Soroban loan scheme for schools, access to Soroban uh, tutorial videos, and our other Soroban resources as well. Uh, then we'll have some time for Q&A. Any questions for Tomoko will be picked up from the chat. So if you have questions uh, throughout the talk or whilst you're listening, please do type them into the chat and we'll do our best to pick them up during the Q&A session. OK, so now I'm delighted to welcome our speaker this evening, Tomoko Holt. Tomoko is a Soroban teacher and founder of the Wakamatsu Soroban Club. She's been working with the Japan Society to, ve to develop our Soroban resources. Tomoko is a passionate advocate for the benefits of using Soroban and will be presenting at the Association of Teachers of Mathematics conference this year on April the 6th. I'm going to hand over to her now for her talk and demonstration. Thank you, Tomoko. Thank you, Alice. Hello, everyone. I'm Tomoko Holt. Thank you very much for joining tonight. So today I'd like to introduce this tool called Soroban. So Soroban is the Japanese abacus and this can be a useful tool as a teaching tool during the math time because this can visualize numbers in the process of calculation and the decimal system. We know that some children get scared of math at early stage, unfortunately, but this tool can visualize what's going on so this can possibly reduce the chances of children to start disliking math. And I also believe that this tool will fit very well to the current math teaching method. So I'm hoping that this will be used during the math time by teachers. Okay, so I've got about 40 minutes today. So I'd like to cover some of the topics such as place value, conversion of measurements and carrying and borrowing and decimal numbers. So we have lots of things to talk about today. And this tool, this tool's like a strong point is visualization. So I hope you enjoy visualizing through Soroban today. Okay, so let's get started. So I believe that most of you are not familiar with this. So first of all, I'd like to talk about how to read numbers on this two Soroban. So Soroban consists of the frame and this white line is called the beam. And then these vertical lines, these are called digit rods. rods. And um, this upper bits, these are called five bits. Each one of them represents five. And these lower beads, these are called one beads, and each one of them represents one. As you can see, each digit rod has exactly the same structure. So when we use Soroban, we have to choose the starting point. At the time, we choose one of these black dots. These are called position markers. So today, I'd like to choose this position marker as my marker. So please focus on the road where the chosen position marker is on, okay? So we only count values if on the Soroban if the beads are attached to the beam, this white line. So if one of the one beads is attached, this means one. 
if two of the one bits are touched, this means two. This is three, this is four. If nothing is attached, this means zero. And upper bits, this is five bits. If five bits is attached, this means five. And this is five, six, this means six. This is five, six, seven. This is eight, and this is nine. Okay. So, what number do you think is shown on this Soroban now? So on the Soroban, there is a rule that we read numbers from the left-hand side. So on this road, there are two of the bees attached, so this is two. And then on this road, there are three of the bees attached, so you can write three on the right-hand side. So this means 23. So on Soroban, as soon as you choose your position marker, the road where your selected position marker is on will be your unit. And same as how you write numbers, the road to the left of your unit is going to be treated as tens. And then you can imagine that the next digit road to the left is hundreds road. So like that. So as soon as you choose your position marker, you will see the digit like this. Okay. So if you can read zero to nine, whatever number you can read. So for example, like this, this is 406, like this. Then, what's this? So Soroban shows the numbers in exactly the same way as how you write numbers. So on the right-hand side of your unit is, this side is decimal digits. So this means 0 0.1. Okay, so for example, this one. This is 20.152. So whatever number you can show in the, exactly the same way as how you write numbers. So when you introduce something quite new to the classroom, some people might feel that, oh, it's too much. But for children, it's also easy to understand because it's exactly in the same way as how you write numbers. Okay, so here, I'd like to just briefly explain how to calculate on Soroban. So for example, six plus two. So when we read numbers, the bees has to be attached to that white line called the beam, yeah? So when you add numbers, the bees are going to move towards the beam. And when you take away the numbers, the bees are going to move away from the beam. So for example, six plus two is like this, six plus two is eight. And this movement is going to be the same for any other road. For example, tens road, 60 plus 20 is 80. Same for hundreds road, 600 plus 200 is 800. And 800 take away 700 is 100. So you can also show to children that in the decimal, decimal system, you can just do the same thing in any digit. But what we have to be careful is which digit you are dealing with. So you can visualize that as well. And also, for example, 1000, if this is my position marker, this shows 1000. 1000 comparing, comparing with one, which is bigger, can be also visible. So 1000 is bigger, isn't it? So the big number is actually showed on the left-hand side and smaller number is showed on the right-hand side that can be shown as well. So for example, 99, it looks like big number, isn't it? But comparing to 100, this exists on the left-hand side. So 100 is bigger, that can be showed as well. So now let's look at the place value. So what is place value? 
So place value is that when you write down the number 222, two, two, it looks the same for children. But when you write 222, two, two, this two means two lots of 100. And this means two lots of 10. And this means two lots of one. So it's completely different thing. On Soroban, you are always thinking the value based on the unit. And then this is tens. You can visually see the digit. So you can easily show the place value as well. For example, 407. How many hundreds are there? Four lots of hundred. How many ones are there? Seven lots of ones. And then there is nothing on tens. However, you have to write it down because 407, 407, that's how you write. Although you read 407, we don't actually read those tens. However, you have to write it down 407. Okay, so that's easy for place value. Okay, now let's look at the concept of the numbers. For example, this number is showed as 3,000. When you ask children, okay, so in 3,000s, how many sets of one are there in 3,000? Children might be able to answer quite easily, oh, it's 3,000 sets. Why? Because we are focusing on one's route. That's why there are 3,000s, okay? How many sets of thousands are there in 3000s? Focus on thousands rot. You can just read it. Three, three lots of thousands. So those children, you can just ask, how many tens are there in 3000s? Some children get confused like, oh, I don't know. Same thing, just focus on tens rot. How many tens are there? Just read it. 300 sets of tens. How many hundreds are there? Focus on hundreds wrote and just read it. 30 sets of hundred. So the concept of numbers, you can also visualize like this. And then this realization, children might feel that, oh, numbers are quite interesting, right? Okay, so now let's talk about conversion of measurement. Okay, so for example, Let's look at this number. So if this is my position marker, the number shown here is 25.3. But if this is my position marker, this number is 25,300. If this is my position marker, the number shown is 0. 0253. So also I didn't move these beads. If you focus on the different digital, then the number will be different. So based on this, if the position marker looks like this, So one kilometer, we know that one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So meter comes here. Okay. And then one meter is 100, 100 centimeters. So centimeter comes here. And then one centimeter is 10 millimeters. So millimeter comes here. So let's look at the earlier number. So if I focus on here, if my position marker is here, the number shown here is 25.3 meters. How many centimeters is that? So focus on here, just read it. 2,530 centimeters. How many millimeters is that? 25,300 millimeters. 
how many kilometers is that? 0 0.0253 kilometers. So this can be visible as well. So conversion of measurement by using Soroban, it can be quite easy as the two can visualize the relationship between the measurements. And also children can visually see what kind of number exists on each route. So the conversion of measurement, it can be quite easily understood by children as well. Okay, so in the same way, we can also use, for example, pounds and pence, that kind of conversion as well. So for example, like that. So if there are 15 pounds, how many pence is that? It's 1,500 pence. And how many 10 pences should we need to make 15 pounds? 150, lots of 10 pences like this. Okay, so by using Soroban, because the digit can be visible and what kind of number exists can be visible. That's why conversion of measurement can be quite easily and visualized, visualized by Soroban. Okay, so let's move on to carrying and borrowing. So, for example, 27 plus 18. Some of the children make this type of mistake. Looks like 315 is the answer, but it's not, is that? So today, let's look at seven plus eight, how Soroban can visualize carrying. Okay, so seven plus eight, you can already see what's going on. When you try to add eight, which is one digit number, you want to add here eight because eight is one digit number. However, unfortunately, Soroban is telling you there is no space. There is no space anymore because the space only exists two. So eight cannot go into this digit. That's why we have to think about, okay, so eight has to go to somewhere. So where? When we add some numbers, the number result should be bigger. So let's think about using bigger digit, the next digit. Can we add eight here? Children, if they understand the place value, they would say no, because that's 80, right? So 80 was too big. Let's think about if eight can become 10, can eight become 10? Children will say no, eight is eight. But there is only one way eight can become 10. How? Together with friend. So that's why all the year one children in this country are working really hard number bonds, isn't it? So eight can only become 10 together with friend. Who is a friend of eight? The number bond, eight is number bond. To make 10 is two. So together with two, eight can go to the next digit becoming 10. So let's take two to the next digit together with this eight becoming 10. This is a carrying. So Soroban can visually show the process of carrying. Why is that? So seven plus eight, no space for eight to go in. That's why eight has to go to the next digit becoming 10, but eight cannot become 10 by itself. That's why together with a friend becoming 10. The answer is 15. So that's carrying. For example, as an example, let's look up. So for example, nine plus four, is there space for four to go into this road? No. So four has to go to the next digit becoming 10, but four cannot become 10 to, by itself. So let's take friend together, going to the next digit becoming 10. Nine plus four is 13. Eight plus five, 
no space for five to go in. So take away friend and go to the next digit together becoming 13. So that's carrying. So by using this two, you can visually show the reason why you have to carry because Soroban can show the number you can only accommodate in each road is up to nine, but on the paper and pencil, children might not know that there is only space of nine on each digit. So this is big you know, benefit of using this tool. Okay, so let's look at the borrowing. So for example, let's look at this 15 take away nine. 15, take away nine. Again, Solomon is telling you, is there nine here? No, there is only five here. Oh, then where are you going to take away nine from? There is a big number here that's 10. So, okay, let's use 10 to take away nine. Okay, let's borrow 10. We have borrowed 10. Let's take away nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the number bond of nine, one is the remainder because we borrowed 10 from Soroban. Let's put it back to Soroban. Let's return to the Soroban. So the answer is six. Why do we have to borrow? Because there is not enough number here. So that's the borrowing, isn't it? So by using Soroban, you can show the process of calculation visually. So children will understand why the calculation requires carrying and borrowing in the decimal system. Okay, so what is decimal system then? So decimal system is a numbering system whose base is 10. Do you think that children will understand that? I don't think so. So Soroban is again the perfect tool to explain the decimal system, what is it? So numbers in the decimal system are expressed by the symbols zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it, zero to nine. Only 10 symbols are used to express big numbers or small numbers, yeah? And then the most important part about the decimal system we have to know is each digit, you can only accommodate up to nine. And when it becomes 10, you have to change the digit. And because each structure of the digit is the same, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 89. So on the tens row as well, when it becomes 10, you have to change the digit. That's why in the decimal system, when you move to the left, it's going to be 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger. On the other hand, when you move to the right hand side, 10 times smaller, 10 times smaller, 10 times smaller, 10 times smaller. So this is the shape of the decimal system. So if you are asked by somebody, oh, can you draw decimal system? Please draw this shape of Soroban. This is the shape of decimal system. So this Soroban is a part of a national math curriculum in Japan. So all the Japanese children has the opportunity to see the shape of decimal system. And this is the reason why I'm pro promoting Soroban in this country because I like to show the shape of decimal system to children in the UK as well. So this is decimal system. Okay, so let's moving on to the decimal numbers. So in this country, year four are going to start learning decimal numbers, I believe. However, somehow year fours are already scared of decimal numbers. I don't know why. By using this, again, it, can, it looks like super easy. And even some adults says like, oh, decimal numbers are mentally difficult. I don't know why. Again, by using this tool, even before they learn decimal system, you can just visually show what it is. 
So for example, if this is my position marker, this is unit. So you can just tell the okay, year fours, you have learned this side perfectly. What did we learn? Place value, we have learned. Carrying and borrowing, we have learned. What did we need to be careful about on this side? For example, 22 plus 66. When you try to add 66, what we have to be careful about was which digit we are dealing with. So you cannot add 66 here. No, you cannot add here. 60 is tens row. That's why you have to add 60 here. And six is here. So 22 plus 66 is 88. What you had to be careful was which digit you were dealing with. And also, for example, 407. Also, you were saying 407. You don't read it. However, you have to write it down because zero exists. So we have to read zero as well. That's what we have to be careful. Okay, yeah, for exciting news from today, we are going to learn decide. Pray. Isn't it exciting? I don't think so. It looks the same, isn't it, for year fours? So that's the visualization for, you know, Soroban can do. For year fours, yeah, if you look at, if you show this, you are perfect this side. From today, you can learn this side. Majority of year fours will feel like it looks the same. It's not exciting. Of course, it's not exciting. It's the same. If the structure is the same, all the rules they have learned up to year four can be applied to this side as well. What did we need to be careful? Which digit road you are dealing with? And also we have to read zero as well. So for example, 0 0.022 plus 0 0.066. Same movement answer is 0 0.088. We have to be careful which digit you are dealing with. We have to also read zero as well. So decimal numbers can be super easy by using this tool as well. So this is the power of visualization this tool has. So for example, decimal numbers. So as we learned, decimal system. So if you go to the left hand side, it's going to be 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger. Yeah. If you go to the right hand side, 10 times smaller, 10 times smaller, 10 times smaller, 10 times smaller. So we can also just check. Okay, so 100. How many sets of tens are there? 10. So 10. How many sets of ones are there? 10. So one. How many sets of one tens are there? 10. So you can just show visually. So for example, one plus one plus one is three. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. One tens plus one tens plus one tens. It's three tens. Three tens is 0 0.3. Four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens. 10 tens is one. So this is the visualization this Zoroban can do. Okay. So that's all for today. It was quite quick, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah thank you very so, much. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you all enjoyed visualizing numbers, the process of calculations, and even the shape of the decimal, decimal system. And exciting news is that we have secured some of these two together with Japan Society. So Alice is going to talk about, you know, how to learn this too, if you, if you are, you know, working for school, if you're a teacher and working for school. 
And if you're a parent, and if you're interested in your child learning Soroban, then I also run online lesson learning Soroban for children. So please contact us. So yeah, I really hope that this will be used during the math lesson by teachers in this country as well, because I really want to show the shape of decimal system to English children as well. So that's it for today. Thank you, okay. Alice. Thank you very much, Tomoko. So um, if you have any questions for Tomoko, she's able to answer some Q&A. So please do put them in the chat now. Or if you uh, would rather um, ask your question, that's possible too, just let us know. Before we move on to q and I'd like to briefly explain what Tomoko mentioned and our other Soroban activities. Um, we'll also be sending an email out to all attendees with this information as a reminder along with a short uh, feedback form. So if you don't catch everything now, don't worry, because we'll send a reminder email out. So soon, the Japan Society will be launching a new loan scheme, allowing schools to borrow teaching Soroban from us. Um, this will be on long-term loan, free of charge, uh, and teaching Soroban uh, can be borrowed from us for up to a whole school year, on the condition that schools complete a short feedback form once per term. This is to evaluate how they're being used and help us understand the benefits of using Soroban within the UK education context and help inform our future Soroban resources as well. Um, so if you are a teacher at a school and you're interested in loaning teaching Soroban from us, then please email the education team. Um, the loans will be subject to availability and initially limited to one per school, but just get in touch and send us an email if you're interested. Um, as well as the loan scheme, we'll also be releasing tutorial videos that Tomoko has made showing how the teaching Soroban can be used. So those tutorial videos will support teachers who've loaned them from us, but they're also available to everyone. Um, we will only share those videos with people who contact us to request, uh, to request them. So if you would like access um, and to be able to use them, please do send us an email, but that is open to individuals and teachers. Um, so finally, if you're interested in using individual Soroban, um, these small sets, we also have some resources, online resources, which are free to introduce using the Soroban for Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. And we have some individual class sets um, to loan for teachers as well. So if you're interested in those, you can check those out. There's a link in the chat there. And um, we can advise on teaching other ages Soroban as well or where to buy them if you'd like to use these resources at home. 